a family pleading with the community to help them find the person who murdered their loved one. It's been four months since 15-year-old J.J. Davis was killed and still no arrests and no answers. Jennifer Martinez is live with more. Jenny. Well, Brian and Linda, as you guys mentioned, J.J. Davis was 15 years old when he was shot and killed on the west side. His mother tells me that he is now 16 years old. I spoke to her this afternoon, and she tells me that her son had big dreams of being in the NFL and a sports, a sports journalist. How do you learn to live without, you know, your child? J.J. Davis was just 15 years old when he was killed. His mother, Malika Flowers, says J.J., her only son out of seven children, was vivacious, full of life, a young man that will light up the room. He was a student. He was an athlete. He was in JROTC. He was active in our church. Everywhere that J.J. went, you know, J.J. left his mark there. Malika says on December 7th, J.J. was getting a ride home from a friend he had just met. Usually, she would drive him everywhere. As the night went on, J.J. never came home and didn't return calls or texts. Worry set in. The next morning, the dreaded call. The detectives called me and said, this phone was found with a body. The Glendale Police Department says J.J.'s body was found here, shot in a dark parking lot near 43rd Drive and Montebello Avenue. This woman, Alicia Reed, called 911 when she saw J.J. laying on the ground, lifeless, right outside of her home. I didn't know that he was just a child. I, it was just a body laying there, you know, and I was scared to get a little close because I didn't know what was going on with the situation. There wasn't no apparent wounds or anything. And as I got close, I realized, like, this is a baby. I'm just hoping if you heard anything, if you saw anything, if you know of someone who has said anything, you know, just call silent witness, call the Glendale Police Department. Just stand up for our babies right now because he didn't deserve this. And just to reiterate what Malika said, if you have any information about this case, you are asked to call the Glendale Police Department. But if you would like to stay anonymous, you can call Silent Witness, and that's at 480-WITNESS. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jennifer Martinez with Fox 10 News.